Hi, I'm Dr. Simmons. Today I'm making peach jam. I've already peeled and sliced the peaches and placed them here in the pan. The peaches are called a stone fruit, which means that the pulp is wrapped around this large pit, which kind of looks like a stone, it's hard like a stone, that has the seed in it. And some peaches are really easy to get off of the pit, and others are called cling stones because they really cling to it and are hard to get off. I'm going to save my pit there for later. The reason I'm going to boil the peaches, I like to do that rather than eating them raw, is that they have something called goitrogens. And goitrogens can block the thyroid gland's ability to use iodine to make thyroid hormones. So I want to deactivate that by cooking. Peaches also have something called tannins, which are an anti-nutrient that can block the body's ability to absorb iron, which is really important because lack of iron could lead to anemia. But I can counter that by providing vitamin C in the form of lemon. And the vitamin C will increase absorption of iron, so that will counter the effect. The other benefit of the lemon is that it's acidic, which will help the pectin to gel. Now I add one cup honey while the peaches, lemon juice, and honey are mixing and gelling. Let's talk about skin care. The peaches also have vitamin C and vitamin C is great for wound healing and tissue repair. I like to have foods like peaches that may help with preventing damage from ultraviolet radiation, like from the sunshine. I was really surprised when I was doing my dermatology training in medical school to find out that damage happen when the skin is burnt, like a bad sunburn. But actually, even when freckles start appearing, that can be a sign that damage has already been done to the skin. And actually, a lot of what is seen as skin aging with wrinkles or sunspots, those dark spots on the skin, brown spots, is attributed to damage from the sun. So, you know, the areas of the body that don't ever really see the light of day, they're, they're still nice and smooth even into old age because they didn't have the damage from the sun rays. So I like to try to go ahead and prevent damage to my skin, but I still need sunshine because Sunshine is really important to convert vitamin D into the form that can be used in the body. So I need some sunshine, but I always want to be careful to protect my skin from too much damage in order to prevent that excessive skin aging and wrinkling and also to prevent skin cancer. Now, some ways I can do that include sunscreen. And there's two different classes of sunscreen. So the more traditional one is a physical sun blocker. It's that stuff that leaves kind of a white film, like zinc oxide. And it's, so when you put it on, it's real thick. But it actually acts to kind of deflect the sun away, like a physical barricade or blocker. Now the other kind that's kind of newer are chemical sunscreens like oxybenzone and those act like a sponge and so they actually, instead of reflecting the sun rays, they absorb it and then the chemical part happens, the chemical reaction, they convert it into heat and that's how they keep it from damaging the skin. Those usually apply a little bit smoother but individuals who have skin sensitivity like with rosacea tend to prefer the other kind, the physical blocker, the one that leaves the white film. In addition to making sure I have sunscreen, I like to have foods like peaches that can help the skin retain moisture. And staying hydrated helps to keep skin from having wrinkles and being dry. After it finishes simmering, I like to store some in the refrigerator and some in the freezer for later. Until then, I am going to use the peach pit, you can see inside, there's a C here that shows, and it just comes right out like that. I can actually plant this. So I actually planted the seed, and now... I'm Dr. Simmons, enjoying a better life, and patiently waiting for my peach tree to grow so that I can make even more jam.